Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I thought, you know what? I feel like sitting down doing some makeup and Poundland is really, really affordable. And I want to see if I can do like a glam look using Poundland makeup. So stay tuned because that's what we're gonna find out today. So the first thing I want to do because my nails are so crusty and disgusting, I picked these up. So these are the Fern McCann Pin Up Stiletto Gloss. So I'm just gonna do, these are the Mother Effin Nail. How gorge are they? I mean, I probably won't be able to do any makeup with them, but they do look kind of cute. So, right, we're over that part now. So I picked up this setting spray i've never seen a setting spray in panland before so this is the it's showtime two-in-one prime and fix spray and it's the dewy one so let's just give her a squitch shall we first of all i'm always wary about that's quite a good mister actually hmm smells quite nice so let's just pop it on the face that is fierce um yeah i quite like the packaging for pa for poundland this is really good and this was three pounds and we're going to start on the eyebrows and the eyes and all that the only thing i don't have is a concealer because <sighs> the concealer what they have is like a lipstick and it's in the stick form and that's not my favorite concealer at all i've tried it before from panland and i don't like it so i didn't buy it so i will just be using my maybelline fit me um so yeah I'm, i hope that's not cheating but i just really don't like that concealer especially a stick concealer i just don't like them picked up a brow pencil it basically looks just like a box I told you i'm not going to be able to do a damn thing with these nails on let's see how long they last in the video so this is their brow pencil it just says slay the brows um obviously it was a pound and i have mine in what brown too it did say blendable color and i'm like blendable color what's that all about so i'm just going to use my spoolie and brush these brows up just like so so let's see what this brow pencil has to offer i mean that's a brow <laughs> that is fierce mm. oh my god it's really really messy and you've only got to touch it and it literally smudges yeah i don't think i'm a fan to be honest so the next product is the brow gel so this is a tinted brow gel it says it's 24 hour wear we shall see i mean i'm not going to wear this for 24 hours but i'll let you know down in the description box how it wore and all that jazz so this is just the slay the brows brow gel and it's a tinted brow gel in number two brunette and it's got like this. oh that's quite cute i was expecting like a big spoolie brush but it's not so i've just carved out the eyebrows um i'm definitely not liking my eyebrows right now um and i've literally just used that concealer all over the lids to prep them for the eyeshadow so the eyeshadow that i picked up was this little quad which is absolutely gorgeous it's called all about the show so this little quad is beautiful so you have four mattes and this beautiful shimmer shade hey guys so obviously on that day i couldn't count there are three mattes and one shimmer in that little quad and i'm wearing it again today oh my god i really really love it so i hope you enjoy the rest of the video guys but yeah there's three mattes and one shimmer shade, which just looks beautiful so I'm going to do some nice, like a purpley lavender look with a cut crease shader brush. So this is all over shader brush. And I'm first going to go into this really light, it's more like a bone, well, it's more like a peachy shadow. And I'm just going to pop that all in the crease and the lid. 
this dark purple and I'm going to use like a little pencil brush for that. I mean it's picked up on the brush so good and to be honest it's gotten hardly any fallout. So I went off camera because I didn't quite know the way I wanted this look to go. Can you guys believe that this is Poundland makeup? Like seriously I'm going to show you how I did it on this eye. So, I just literally cut the crease, so I've used my Fit Me concealer, and I've used literally a flat brush, as I do always, and I just can't believe it, guys, like, you would not be able to tell, if you were out on a night out, you wouldn't be able to go, oh my god, that girl's wearing Poundland makeup, you just wouldn't, you wouldn't tell, um, these little eyeshadow quads are gorgeous, with, what well, pencil brush, with no added product and just smudge the end of the outer corner i did take the pinky <laughs> i did take this pink uh, fingernail off just so that i could get the glitter well the shimmery color in because i won't be able to do it with these bloody fake ass nails and then i literally went into the shimmer shade with my finger that i took the nail off and just put it all over the cut crease but oh my god it is so nice i then went in with this i have bought this before and i absolutely love it it's such a really nice eyeliner so this is the pro liquid eyeliner and i mean look at that wing i love this stuff it is so nice and it's quite easy to work with because it's got like a little flexible nib oh look at me a youtuber um it's got like a little flexible nib so i find those really easy to do a wing liner so i'm gonna hold my breath and i'm gonna do the wing liner and it's as easy as that guys I then went in with the mascara so this is just turn up the volume and define mascara i have tried this one before they didn't have any other mascaras to try and i did like i do like this one to be honest it's got a really nice brush on it um it's an okay mascara for a pound it's okay so the lashes i'm putting on are from the jess right range and these are bella boo um i quite like this style um i have tried other eyelashes from Poundland, and i'm not a fan but these ones these just right brand i absolutely love they feel so nice on the eyes and they're super easy to apply and that's how easy it is to put these lashes on these just right lashes i would definitely recommend trying them out guys if you haven't already because they are super super nice and let's do the satisfying part. Oh, look at that wing. I'd go out on a date wearing my eyes like this, guys. I'd go out on date night wearing my eyes like this because it's just pretty and yeah. Let's go on to the face now. So this is the £3 foundation that everybody is going crazy about. It's meant to be a dupe for the new Clinique, maybe um it also gives me number seven vibes as well i mean don't mind this i've got a cold sore we're not all perfect um so this is keeping on keep on glowing illuminating foundation i got it in swan which was the lightest one because in the past when i've tried foundations from the poundland from poundland they've oxidized so i've gone for the lightest shade so yeah so I'm going to give her a little bit of a shake. Oh my God, bingo wings going over here. Bloody hell. <laughs> Got a little squeezy tube. So I'm just going to apply a fair amount because I don't know. Why does that always happen to me? So it says it's a lightweight formula. So yeah, it is pretty lightweight and it's pretty light as well. Quite a nice coverage though. Like I don't like, especially in summer, I don't like to be too caked on. In winter, I give me all the cake, but in the summer when it's really hot, 
and humid i'm not one for too much cake basically right, i like to put it on with a brush to start with and then i'll go over it with my sponge because i feel like you get more of a flawless um finish when you use a sponge i quite like it i think it's quite pretty it sits on my skin lovely and for three pounds i definitely say yes my neighbor is still renovating the house next door i really hope that it's coming to an end now because just <laughs> it's not the one it really isn't i know that they've got to do it and i don't mind obviously but it's every time I put the camera on. They've not made a noise all day. It's Saturday today. I'm filming today. It's Saturday. They've not made a noise all day. The minute I turn the camera on, they start. So I did pick up a new powder. I love this powder. It is so, so good for the price. It's a pound, obviously. It's from Poundland. And it's their press powder. Smoothly does it press powder. And I have mine in translucent one. It contains vitamin E, which is really, really good for your skin. So it doesn't clog up your pores. And I love this, but I'm not gonna open the new one because I'm still using one that obviously has been loved. I use it every single day. And I'm just gonna powder under the eyes before I set and go crazy creasy. I'm also gonna bring that down the nose. I'm then going with my then I'll go in with my big fluffy brush and just set the rest of my face. I also picked up another one of their bronzers. I went through one of these last year. I absolutely love their bronzers so much. So I don't do contour very much because let's face it, I don't know how I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing with contour. Seriously, I have no, no clue. Bronzer, I'm fine with. I can bronze up my face like everybody else. So this is the Go To Glow Matte Bronzer and I have mine in matte like one. And this also contains vitamin E, UVA and UV, UVB filters. And I'm just going to use, so I'm just going to use my Jessup's um, face brush. And I'm just going to bronze up the face and across my forehead. I really wish I was going out on a date right now. But the truth is I'm probably just going to take all this off and have a shower. That's the truth of filming, guys really wish i had some work to go and the sun's just come out which is amazing because i've just put a load of washing on the line and what i like to do is i'll just go back in with my sponge and just blend that out in case i've gone a little bit too crazy because let's face it i normally do one of these little packs that, that hang up on like all these little hanging things and this is a little rimmel blush and it's called royal blush cream blush i picked up a cream blush haven't i oh my god i've just powdered every bloody wear well we're still gonna give it a go still just gonna give it a go it is it's a bloody cream blush oh well I'm gonna just dip my sponge in there. My fingernail apparently. Hopefully it won't mess up the rest of my makeup. Doesn't seem to be. Didn't realize this it was a cream blush. Get my nose, cause that's what I like to do these days. That looks quite pretty. So pretty. So I am just gonna put this Essence blush on top. Essence is a really affordable brand, um, just to set that blush in place. Oh, we're going a bit crazy with the blush today and I keep putting it on. Stop. And I'll just go in with my beauty sponge and just blend all the craziness. Because I look a little bit like Aunt Sally. And if you know who Aunt Sally is, then we can be friends. I'm still literally shocked that this is Poundland makeup, guys. Apart from the eyebrows, everything else I really, really, really like cute you know it's cute so because we put all that powder on my face i am going to go back in with the pre the setting spray again and i didn't pick up a highlighter because poundland where are your highlighters at because i couldn't find a single one i'm just going to quickly put an elf that's not a highlighter so i'm going to put on 
the body collection highlighter because body collection is as affordable as Poundland. I'm just going to use my Spectrum BO8 highlighting brush. Oh yes baby. It's on the inner corner. I really wish Tony was taking me out tonight but alas it is not meant to be. So I'm going to use this little quad and I'm going to go into the lilac shade with a little bullet brush, pencil brush. And I'm going to run that under the lower lash line. Then I'm going to go into the dark purple and put that on the outer part. She be cute. Do you like this straw, by the way? I got them from Home Bargains for 99 pence. So save the turtles. I'm going to just run a little bit of the mascara on the lower lash line. So the last little thing to do guys and if you've stayed this long then I love you so 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 much and you mean the world to me hit that subscribe button if you haven't already it would mean the world to me so so much. So the last bit to do guys are the lips because the lips at the moment are non-existent so I'm just going to wipe off that crustiness. The first thing we have is this lip pencil and it's in the shade Nude Caramel. okay it's not normally my normal go-to color i have a little bullet lipstick it's such a cute little package and this is all about the pout and i got number 23 in london which is like a nude because i love a good nude in lipsticks the shade okay the shade hmm that is quite a nice nude mood lip. I mean, if you can see up my nose and you can see things, then I'm sorry. Oh, guys, I would literally go out on a date with my makeup like this from Poundland. And you wouldn't know. You wouldn't go, oh, that girl's wearing Poundland makeup because why would you? But seriously, guys, on a, guys, on a serious note, this is Poundland makeup. I mean, you can tell in the brows. The brows are a bit. But I love the way my eyes look. Hmm. So the last little thing to do is to put on this lip gloss. So this is the Plump, Plump Up The Volume Lip Plumping Gloss. I can actually feel the tingle on my tongue. I mean, I think it's plumping up my lips. Do they look juicy? yeah i quite like this makeup look guys i would definitely like i say like i've told you a hundred million times and you're probably sick of it but i would definitely wear this makeup on a date night going out with the girls going shopping downtown going for brunch hint 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 <laughs> On that note, if you did enjoy this video, give it a big thumbs up, subscribe, you know the drill, you know what to do, my lovelies. And I hope you're having a fantastic week, whatever you are doing. And I will see you in next week's video, guys. I love you always and bye for now.